you start out with 40 players who can make the team and slowly that whittles down. Then you start putting your vice captains in place, you bring in a statistics team, start moving with that. Then you don't want to give too much away in the media, you want to hold a few things close to your chest. I love the strategy, the cat and mouse, the chess playing of it, looking at the golf course, going to look at the team rooms, how we we're going to do the environment inside, because all of those things are important because what you're trying to do as a captain, more than anything, was create a platform, an environment that the players are going to be happy, they're going to be comfortable, and their heart's going to be on fire. And when you create that, you open up the gates and you go, okay guys, off you go. I have so many great memories as a captain and as a player, but if I'm being selfish, my favorite memory is when I hold a winning pot in 2002. I likened it at a time to having a bottle of champagne and shaking it and shaking it and shaking it, and that's how I felt inside. And then as the putt went in, the cork came off and just exploded in this incredible emotion. But the one that gave me the most sense of satisfaction is certainly uh, when I was captain. Creating a plan, organizing the players, organizing the statistics, organizing everything behind the scenes, having a vision, putting it into place. I had an incredible source of knowledge that I had experienced and rode shotgun on from all the captains that I played under. You know, Seve, I played under Faldo, I played under Alazabal, you know, who's who, Woosnam, Langer, wherever you want to go, I'd either played with or played under those guys in the team room. And I learned a bit from all of them. Not always the same thing, but I learned a bit from all of them. Oh, I like that, like we did that, don't particularly like that, I like this. And that kind of experience I put into play when I was captain. So I loved it, I really enjoyed the role. I loved the challenges of it. You know, in the pressure and the cauldron of Ryder Cups, trying to make decisions late at night after a long day of 36 holes and trying to draw it up, what you're gonna do the next day, that's a difficult place to be. But I remember Tom Watson had a quote. One of the lines that he had was, the best way to deal with pressure is not let it build in the first place. Now that sounds very simple, but I took that certainly in terms of the captaincy as having a plan. And I had statistics to help me with decisions, my personal relations with the players, my understanding of the players. I played with them all, I understood their games, and then to see it kind of rolled out and to see it coming to fruition in a successful way is a real sense of achievement and probably the proudest thing that's happened to me. So the better decision is to come in with a clear plan. If you can do that, things get off rolling, you just roll out the red carpet and off you go. That's pretty much captaincy in a nutshell there.